Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 14th, 2022. Well, by golly, those bears got angry yesterday. Um, the CPI number came in hotter than expected. For some reason, the entire market seemed to be drinking the Kool-Aid, thinking that things were getting better in our economy. And they were really disappointed yesterday when that CPA I number came in hot as food uh, prices, medical costs, things like that are now driving um, that inflation higher, um, even though our uh, fuel prices have come down. So we have a pretty ugly situation here in our charts this morning. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out what we're going to do for today. Well, doggone it, we have this situation where our downtrend here in, in the diamonds, we, we had broken... Um, um, stretched out and broken through that upside with lots of hope that the CPI or inflation was ebbing and that the for some reason everyone gets has 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 this idea that the Fed is going to back off even though the Fed has been very clear on the fact that they're not going to back off and if you take a look right in here failing these price resistance levels that's one of the things that i had been talking about and actually it was exactly what i was hoping for which is pretty rare for me to get exactly what i was hoping for and rejecting that level we had right way options had a really good day of profits um, yesterday as we failed here certainly um, an ugly situation here uh, for the market breaking down and we came really close to failing the September low here in the diamonds. Now this morning we have another inflationary reading. Um, so the question is, will we continue to defend? Will we, will we be able to defend the September lows and get a relief rally back up? And, and I can't tell you that. Um, again, uh, the, the PPI number could be as volatile as uh, the CPI number and um, who knows maybe we catch something in here and bounce up off of that futures are trying to put on a brave face this morning and say we should get some kind of a relief on such a hard selling day but we'll have to wait and see what that number does to the market now keeping in mind here if you look at this chart if this um, support fails and I think one of the reasons they may work really, really hard to try and hold that support level. If that level were to fail, I want you to notice that there's not really good support levels um, down here until, well, we could even, there's a little bit of support right there, little tiny bit right there, and then we have the lows of the year. So um, we don't have a whole lot going for us there on that side of things. And if we look at the longer term downtrend, we certainly are confirming our downtrend here with a rejection of resistance levels in the chart. And unfortunately, we failed through our 50 day moving average yesterday and on the diamonds. And you can see our 34 EMA and 20 are getting ready to cross down through that 50, creating that zone of resistance that I've talked about so many times let's take a look at our spy spy also pretty darn ugly failing here we had popped through that downtrend there just a bit and then boy what a hard reversal but and failing at this price resistance is a pretty critical situation here in the chart so we'll want to watch that closely now the good news here on the spy is it didn't get down here to the September low. We were pushing down, but it didn't make it down there like the Dow did. So we still run that possibility that we can hold this area and maybe even bounce and put in a little higher low on that um, chart. 
but we do have to kind of keep in mind that um, overall we're still in a downtrend in the chart and if we take a look at our moving averages here we failed through our 50 day our 34 and 20 will soon be crossing down through the 50 so even if we do catch that bounce back up i would be watching for some price resistance uh, maybe right through that area in that gap if we do bounce i would be looking for something like that to possibly occur um, a failure along those levels let's take a look at our um, qqq nasdaq also pretty hard reversal and they've got an extra problem here bond yields continue to rise um, actually sharply rise um, creating additional problems and additional pressures here for the NASDAQ so keeping in mind we failed this price resistance in the chart with that ugly ugly reversal um, we tried to break that downtrend to the upside and uh, failed it leaving behind a nasty gap and of course if we look at our moving averages we're back below our 50 day and our shorter term moving averages the 34 and the 20 are crossing through creating that zone of resistance above. So pretty, pretty ugly chart. Now, the good news here again is that we didn't take out the September low. We're still holding in here. So it's really gonna be dependent on how we react um, this morning, I think, to the PPI, whether we defend this or if uh, those angry bears come right back in and push us on, on down. And there certainly is that possibility. Let's take a look at our um, IWM here this morning. Our Russell is the strongest of the indexes out there. And you'll see what I mean when I draw this line in. If I draw across here, we have held that downtrend break all along. And notice in here, although we failed at some um, substantial resistance levels here in the chart, you're going to notice that um, we are a lot higher off of that September low here. So nowhere close to breaking that September low yet in um, IWM. We'll want to watch that carefully. So um, we have a better chance here of bouncing on IWM. And if you look right in here, we did fail the 50 and we do have that zone of resistance setting up in here. But um, hey, we've got a much more bullish chart here on IWM than any of the other indexes. So maybe those small caps are starting to give us a little bit of hope of that turn to the upside. But unfortunately, we have other problems here as well. Our 200 day has crossed down through our 500 day. So it's really tough to make a very big bullish case here in the market um, on the IWM um, with that going on. So I don't know, watch that closely. It, it's gonna be an interesting, um, interesting few weeks or maybe even a few months ahead trying to figure out some of this technical damage in these charts. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday obviously um, took a pretty big hit to the upside. Uh, fear really came in on on that. We didn't, I don't think we really quite made it to the panic point. As a matter of fact, the selling throughout the day seemed pretty um, stable, just kept selling uh, throughout the day. I think institutions were unloading positions pretty heavily. Um, but unfortunately, um, looking at this chart, we did create some <clears throat> some fear here and um, pushed right back above that um, resistance level in the chart and pushed right through that level as well. So we're up here around 27 handles <clears throat> in the VIX. That certainly is showing us that fear, that uncertainty here in the market. But I don't think major panic will would come into the market unless we spike up into here or above. If that occurs, look for that potential capitulation in the market. Um, right now, still holding in this area. And if we get some bullish action, we could push right back down into this zone. Um, we'll have to kind of keep an eye maybe on this upside trend. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, if there is hope of a rally today, depending on how that 
PPI number comes in, if there is some hope, it's right here in our T2122. We went from an overbought condition um, yesterday um, trying to push higher in the pre-market. We were up here in this overbought condition and we whipsawed hard. And with that selling yesterday, we came very, very close to an oversold condition very quickly. So we'll want to watch that carefully, um, just kind of keeping in mind that the oversold condition still has a ro some room to go. So if we were to get bearish inspiration here this morning, you could certainly see that possibility that we have more downside potential here in the market. And that would likely break those September lows in some of the charts. If we find some bullish inspiration, well then just take note that we have opened up a pretty sizable upside move if we can find that bullish inspiration today. Our T2108, our T2108, well, took some pretty serious damage yesterday. Um, probably not the biggest of surprises, but um, we rallied up toward that downturn break that we had um, a week ago and uh, well doggone it 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 failed um, underneath that level um, amongst all that resistance but the good news here in this chart as well is didn't take out notice that we are not below where we were um, um, here just a few days ago in that selling so watch that closely in there we haven't taken out that low yet <clears throat> 32, 33% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average is a tough bullish case to make, but you know, it's holding in there. Our T2107 is kind of interesting though. Our T2107, notice that we have broken that downtrend. And even in that pullback yesterday, those small caps held up better. Those stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. Notice we haven't broken that trend to the downside. So if there were a, if there was a silver lining, a glimmer of hope here, um, it's going to be in those stocks holding above their 200-day moving average, and whether that can continue. Um, 27, 28 percent of the stocks holding above their 200. Again, it's pretty tough to get really bullish with that kind of number but at least it's an improvement so let's um, we can maybe hang our hat on that and fingers crossed that things start to improve here our t2101 um, it made a little bit of a hook reversal yesterday as momentum picked up to the downside and we certainly did get the volume uh, yesterday um, there was substantial volume uh, coming in on that selling move so spiked up pretty heavily and that big spike can sometimes also mean that we maybe exhausted the selling for just a little bit and we could get just a little bit of relief bounce um, on that move. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, well, you know, we have more data coming our way that could move this market a lot. And remember, markets just hate uncertainty like this. But we've got a PPI number coming out here before the bell. If that PPI producer prices continue to show inflationary pressures, you could certainly see those bears continue to react because we kind of got a little bit crazy ahead of ourselves thinking that um you know all was well that you know years and years printing money since 2008 and we fixed it with a couple rate increases mm, that might be kind of a stretch so <laughs> watch that closely and, and i think one of the problems that people are dealing with is um, if you haven't traded since 2008 you've not seen a market where the Fed is actually working against the market. And we do have that situation now where the Fed is actively working against the market to bring valuations down. And um, people have for so long just been able to rely that when the market pulls back, the Fed's gonna be there to, to back the market. That doesn't seem to be the case right now. So it's understandable that there is some of that confusion out there. So as this PPI number comes in, expect for some volatility around that. I can't tell you if it's going to be up or down. Anything is possible in that number. We're going to also 
have those mortgage applications this morning we know those have been pretty dismal and we've been seeing some major problems as a result of that in um, housing as housing prices are beginning to fall and then we have that petroleum status report and this one will be interesting today because even with our rising dollar we saw crude prices hold up pretty well yesterday so watch that closely it's it's an odd situation to see commodities holding up when the US dollar is showing this kind of strength. Um, but they are, and that is going to be an issue for us moving forward, I think. So watch that close. Um, let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. And unfortunately, guys, um, there, we're not gonna get much inspiration in earnings today. Um, there's um, only eight um, um, confirmed reports today and only two that I could pull out that are even somewhat notable uh, D-O-O-O -O -O, um, reporting uh, today so keep an eye on that and then we're also going to get a report from TNP um, uh, of course oil and gas and you can see here again dollar going higher and some of these oil and gas stocks are ripping to the upside um, an odd situation here for the market and that really maybe tells us that we may have more of a sticky inflation situation than we would like to um, like to um, believe and um, if oil and gas continues to go higher just keep in mind our next inflation reading could actually be higher still so um, just kind of keep an eye on that um, let's hope that's not the case let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys um, if you could do me that favor again if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful please make sure and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment I do try to answer all of those comments and um, uh, they are important to me and I just want to say thank you so much uh, for all the kindness that you guys show me in the channel also um, um, please feel free to share these videos out there um, with uh, on your social media feed. It helps the channel to continue to grow. Um, let's take a look at some stock setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and just realizing that this is going to be a very, very difficult market uh, possibly moving forward with um, um, a Fed balance sheet roll off coming. I believe tomorrow yeah tomorrow I believe and then um, um, we're also going to have um, a substantial rate increase on the Fed next week so um, challenging period of time here for the market so be very very careful uh, make sure you understand the risk of every trade and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea let's take a look at a few things now I gotta tell you um, I was a little bit surprised yesterday in the fact that we initially had some bullishness coming into uh, some retail um, at the end of the day they kind of lost that support and pushed down a little bit but you might want to keep an eye on stocks like walmart now walmart received an upgrade today as well suggesting that they're positioned for some upside moves even though the market is looking pretty ugly watch that closely if walmart can hold in here then there may be some um, upside move and we're seeing that in a lot of retail um, target was another one yesterday that was trying to hold in there um, and bounce right back um, target also received um, a bit of an upgrade in here so maybe keep an eye on some of these retailers they're holding some trends holding in there maybe worth watching pretty closely stocks like Costco um, um, also <laughs> I can't type um, this morning um, geez well, if you ever wondered if this was um, an edited video, it's not. It's a live video. So uh, Costco might be another one to keep an eye on. And you guys know that I've been talking about BJ here. Um, uh, they have been holding, uh, this stock has been holding up really quite well um, in, in um, a very ugly bearish market, but holding up very, very well. And as you can see, um, pushing through 
and although we are pulling back, you might want to keep an eye on some of these retailers and discount retailers. Um, um, Ross Stores was another that was trying to hold up earlier on yesterday. Um, we've got these upside trends in place, so watch them closely. Other places I think you need to be uh, paying pretty close attention to is alternative energies. And I've been talking about this for a while. I kind of uh, feel like a, a little bit of a broken record on these, but you'll notice in here, run. That's looking pretty darn good here, considering the selling in the market that we've had and we're not breaking down. So I think this sets up for a potential upside move here and run. I would keep an eye on um, uh, First Solar. Um, it, like nothing's happened in the market. It's staying very, very strong here on those alternative energies. And then although um, stocks um, like um, uranium had a little bit of a pullback at the end of the day, take a look at CCJ here. This is a stock I hold, so I have a bias on this trade, but keeping in mind that it held up extremely well, um, um, considering, whoops, Considering the selling that we saw in the market, some of these uranium plays um, held up pretty darn well um, overall. So keep a close eye on those. Um, there may be some opportunities there. If you're looking for some short trades, guys, I'm really going to have to continue to suggest the techs. Um, uh, Microsoft had a really rough day yesterday. Any bounce back, I think, sets up a short. I think we're going to probably start hearing uh, about earnings downgrades, um, earnings warnings from a lot of companies. Um, um, AMD breaking down lower high, lower low. Any rally back sets up an opportunity. You may want to look into those as, as these bonds continue to put pressure on um, um, these big tech stocks and the valuations are still um, too high, honestly, on a PE ratio basis. So um, you may want to watch some of those for those potential short trades um, in the market. Other long places, I got to tell you, 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 you got to keep an eye on energy. Something is, 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 is afoot here that we've got the dollar ripping to the upside so strong and energy is just not falling off as you would expect it. So keep a close eye on some of those energy sector stocks as well for longs. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks a ton for being here. I do appreciate it. I know yesterday was a painful day for a lot of folks. Um, and um, uh, I would like to say that that'll change today, but I'm not sure that's going to be the case. So make sure you're being pretty careful. Try to avoid drinking the Kool-Aid from the talking heads. They seem to be working really hard um, anymore in um, misinformation. Um, and so make sure you're paying attention to those price action levels in the chart, support and resistance. Watch those closely and be a little bit more cautious about believing what the talking heads are spinning out. So with that, guys, have an awesome day and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.